Hello all, I am Dr. Anand Nayar, PhD in Computer Science. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned to all the technology videos on Linux administration, open source, Windows administration, embedded systems, Kali Linux, simulations, big data, machine learning, programming, deep learning, IoT, virtualization, unboxings and many more. If you want to know more about my, the details of my video, you can click on the playlist and you can find more details of the videos on which I make on my YouTube channel. If you want to know more about my research, you can go to Google Scholar and you can search my name Dr. Anand Nayar and you can find all my research papers over here. And similarly, you can even go to researchgate.net and you can find my detailed profile and even my level of research over here and you can find all the coordinates of my current research scenarios on this website. And similarly, you can even go to google.com and you can search my name as Anand Nayar and you can find my website and every coordinate needs of my of my research everything over this search so i request you to subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned gyan with anand Nayar, your ultimate resource for technology thank you hello researchers how are you i hope you are fine and doing well in this video i will be demonstrating how to install ubuntu 17.10 server on oracle virtual box now before we dive in the installation part of ubuntu 17.10 server on oracle virtual box let us first of all understand how to download ubuntu 17.10 server on your pc now you can see that I have already opened the website that is ubuntu.com. It is the official website through which you can download not only server but also the desktop editions of Ubuntu. So you just have to click on downloads. Now you see that it has opened the web page that is get Ubuntu. So you have to make the choice that is either to download Ubuntu desktop or Ubuntu server. So in this video my focus is Ubuntu server so I just click on Ubuntu server. So you can see that there are two ready-made versions of server edition which is available on Ubuntu website that is Ubuntu server 16.0.3 LTS and Ubuntu server 17.10. So you just have to click on this link that is download and the server will automatically start downloading. I will leave the link of the official website as well as this web page in the description below in the video so that you can just click on that link and you can get grab hold of Ubuntu in a matter of seconds. So let's dive on Oracle VirtualBox and let's see step by step how to install Ubuntu Server 17.10 in a highly simple and easy manner. So you can see that I've already started Oracle VirtualBox so you just have to click on new. Now type the name that is Ubuntu 17.10 server or any name whatever you like. So type will be Linux and version will be Ubuntu 64 bit. So click on next and I allocate 2 GB of RAM. So you can even allocate 4 GB or 8 GB or even 16 GB depending on the computer which you are using. So I am having 8 GB of RAM in my laptop so I can allocate 2 GB in a beautiful manner and server can work in on 2048 RAM in a very beautiful manner. So I click on next. So click on create, next, next. So I just allocate 40 GB of hard disk drive to Ubuntu server so you can even allocate 100 GB or whatever the space you require you can allocate so click on create so the machine will be created so before we power on let's click on settings so just click on advanced and I enable bidirectional on shared clipboard and bidirectional for drag and drop so I click on system so I just check off floppy and I just click over optical and move it downstairs hard disk drive. So I just click on processor and I just increase it to 2 and I enable PAE oblique NX and I, when I go to storage over here there is empty so I just click on this option and I click on choose virtual optical drive so I just go to my tree drive operating systems where I have downloaded so you can see over here Ubuntu 17.10 server AMD 64 so don't you worry for even Intel bit uh, computers AMD 64 will be highly compatible so if I right click and I click on properties over here so you can find that it is about very decent version that is about 745 MB so even it is less than 750 or 800 MB so you can download in just matter of uh, less than 30 minutes depending on your internet speed so I click on OK and I click on open so you can see that Ubuntu 17.10 server has been set up so now click on OK and I just fire the machine so click on start so very simple easy steps no rocket science 
So I click close over here and I click on view and full screen mode. So you can see in the first option I just have to select the language so I just keep the default as English so I press enter. So there is a menu in which there is saying that is install Ubuntu server, install MS region controller, MS rack controller, check disk for defects, test memory, boot from first hard disk drive or rescue a broken system. So as it is the first virtual machine so we have to install it so we just take the first option as install Ubuntu server and press enter. So it has started loading the basic files. So you can see that it has first demanded to choose an option that is English. So the only difference between Ubuntu server and Ubuntu desktop is that that in the Ubuntu desktop you will find the graphical based interface but in Ubuntu server you will find a text based interface and almost no mouse is needed. So I just press English as my default language. So here is my location so I click on other and I go to Asia and as I am in Vietnam so I just uh, go and select V and there is Vietnam. So for the, uh, for the combination of language and country I just keep United States as the baseline so I press enter. So the keyboard will be detected automatically so no need for detection so I press no itself. And uh, I just select the origin of keyboard it is English that is US or you can select as per your choice in which country you are living. So the keyboard layout will be English US I just press enter. So it has now detecting the hardware and finding the other CD-ROM drives. So the installation can take place between 8 to 15 to 17 minutes. So it is not a big installation. It will just take less than 20 minutes to get installed. So you can see that it is now loading some additional components which are required for installation. So it is going smoothly. Okay. So now let's see what option we have. So now it is detecting some network hardware because network hardware is very important because Ubuntu distribution requires internet uh, for downloading some of the language based files or other files from the internet. So automatically the virtual machine will be allocating the DHCP address. So the host name will be Ubuntu Server 2018. So you can select any other host name as per your requirement. So I click on continue. So full name of the new user, let me type my name that is Anand Nair. And username will be Anand. And I just type my name as my password. So I use a weak password, it is okay for me. So I just tap it yes. So I don't want to encrypt my home directory, so I press no. So it is getting the time from network time server. I think so nearby area of Vietnam will be selected automatically and grabbed. And yes, the time zone is correct, that is Asia Phnom Pan. So press yes. So now it is rejecting the disk and all other hardware. So there are three options which are available that is guided use entire disk, use entire disk and set up LVM, guided use entire disk and set up encrypted LVM or manual. So for the beginner and even for advanced user, I, I request you to select the second option that is guided use entire disk and set up LVM so that the root partition as well as the swap partition can be set up. So just press enter. So here is a dic disk which has been detected. So I just write the changes to the disk and select yes and yes it is 42.9 it is okay for me and it is saying write changes to disk so press yes. So after the formatting it will automatically start installing the system so you can see that it has started installing. So it is copying the data to the hard disk drive. So till it copies, uh, let us pause back the video and uh, I return once it is done. So it is retrieving some of the files from the internet. So not much time will it take depending on your net connection. And yes, they have retrieved all the files. So it is running the Debian package. and it is preparing the Linux firmware that is AMD64. So Linux image is also installing. 
So everything almost which you can see in the graphical mode of desktop based installation of Ubuntu 17.10 uh, or 17.04 so it is always there. And uh, yes uh, one more thing which I would like to share that uh, very soon we will be also welcoming 18.04 Ubuntu version and as soon as it will be released the video will be launched onto my YouTube channel. So it is configuring the Linux firmware. So almost it has done with the basic uh, commands and install LVM2. So it is highly fast. It has taken about 6 to 7 minutes for me to install and now it is configuring the APT package manager. So there is no need for it. So just press continue. So it will retrieve some files. If you want to cancel, you can cancel. If you want to go ahead with this, you can go ahead. So it will not take much time. So it is highly fast. Now it is installing all the softwares and upgrading all the softwares. So for this, it is on you that whatever you want to take the option for configuring task SAL. So what I can do, I can just install security updates automatically. It is uh, by default a very good option. So if you want to install any other server like DNS, LAMP server, mail server, Postgre, print server, Samba, Tomcat and OpenSSH, you can install. I can just take OpenSSH server as, as a very good server to be installed uh, in addition to my installation. So I just press enter. So it has retrieved almost all the files and very soon we will be welcoming the command based interface because over here we don't have the graphical interface because it's server edition very soon in front of our eyes. So you can say that as compared to other servers like Fedora, CentOS, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Ubuntu server is highly highly secure and even it is equivalent secure to Fedora and CentOS and even it is more fast and easy to install as compared to other servers. So almost we are at 65% for installation. So very soon uh, we can complete it. Let's wait. So it is retrieving two files from the internet. So make it sure whenever you install Ubuntu server, you should have internet connected to your server or any laptop based machine. So it is configuring the language packs, which are important. So cleaning up all the temporary files which are not required now. So it is done. And after it is done, we will just reboot the system and we are all set to fire Ubuntu for the first time. So it is installing the Grub bootloader, not taking much time. So install the grub bootloader to master boot record, we just press yes. Updating the grub, the final steps are done and now you can see that it is finishing the installation. So installation is complete and you can see that it is now demanding for us to reboot the system. So I just press on continue.
and yes it is all done and uh, we are rebooting the machine so let's go to full mode and we are starting with the first boot so you can just go to devices you can go to network network settings and over here we have the NAT so even you can go with the bridge adapter so that we can even ping the server from our host machine so it is the recommended thing so otherwise NAT is also good Bo in both ways you will be connected to your internet so click on OK so that uh, the IP can be made out and yes you can see that Ubuntu 17.10 Ubuntu server is there so let's go with the first login with my name and password so it is done so let's log in with root so first of all let us change the password of root with the command that is sudo password type the password and now type the password of root and it is updated so let's clear this and just type the command that is su space minus and type the password and root is logged in so let's uh, first of all uh, check the IP address of this machine that is IEF config there you can see that it is 192.168.1.10 so let's ping google.com so whether it is pinging or not so it is pinging it is doing beautifully so let's uh, install some uh, lamp server in a just one command that is apt hyphen get install lamp hyphen server shift 6 so it is about a 26.5 MB of the software okay so you can see that it is there so let's press Y and press enter so depending on the net connection speed it will not take much time so it has taken about 10 seconds to configure so it is demanding the new password for MySQL user so let's type the password you can set it up and now you can see that it is unpacking and after that it will be setting up so in my most videos I have told you already that how to install LAMP server it's just a quick demonstration that how you can make uh, your Ubuntu 17.10 as an Apache MySQL and PHP based server so PHP 7.1 is installing so it is taking all the latest repositories so it is creating the configuration files for uh, setting up Apache as well as MySQL enabling the modules we are almost done So it is creating the symbolic links, processing the triggers. Okay, done. So let's take uh, that is PHP PHP hyphen version. So PHP 7.1 is installed. Okay, so let's update some repositories. That is apt hyphen get update command. So same commands like we have in normal Ubuntu are there. So let's check out that whether we are able to work with Apache or not. So let's go to the uh, web browser of our host machine so let's type the address that is 192.168.1.10 so you can see that Apache is working so in this video I have demonstrated how to install Ubuntu 17.10 uh, version of your server edition on a Oracle virtual box so I hope that you do like this video do comment do share and do let me know that on what real time purposes you are also using Ubuntu and also tell me that if you want any other videos on Ubuntu server 17.10 to be configured on my YouTube channel your comments and your suggestions are totally welcome I will leave my email and all my uh, details of my professional profile in the description below thank you so much for watching thank you all